six college students, three seniors, and three freshmen are going to Miami for spring break. They meet each other at the train station as the seniors are standing in line after the three freshmen. The three freshmen all buy a ticket. The seniors get up behind them and only buy one ticket. Freshmen are looking at it and say, well, wait a minute. What are you doing? I mean, all three of you getting on the train, you only bought one ticket? Seniors look at the freshmen and say, watch, learn, and do. So they get on the train, get comfortable in their chairs, and just before the train rolls out of the station, the three seniors with the one ticket run off and hide in one of the bathrooms. Train pulls out. Here comes the ticket handler, the conductor, stops by the door, knocks on it, ticket. The door opens this much, one hand reaches out, gives him the ticket. Interesting. A week later, they're returning from spring break, and the six of them are, once again, they find each other near the ticket counter. And so this time, the freshmen are saying, we have learned. And so they get in line, and they buy one ticket. And the seniors buy no tickets. <laughs> I don't understand. What are you going to do? Watch, learn, and do. So they get on the train. Right before the train rolls out, the senior, the three student, senior students run into one of the bathrooms and close the door. The f three freshmen run into another bathroom and close the door. And just as the train is pulling out of the station, one of the senior students goes over to the other bathroom, knocks on the door and says, stick it, <laughs> opens the door, and he hands him the ticket. Watch, learn, and do. So many of our speeches today were about education and getting just a little bit extra, figuring out in our own lives what it's all about. I'm reading a book from Thomas Friedman. Thank you for being late. In it yesterday, I had to reread the paragraph because he says at the rate of acceleration, at the rate that we are advancing today, in the next 100 years, if we keep this rate constant, we will make progress equivalent to 10,000 years. The speed that is about to show up in our lives and we heard about coding and the skills that kids have to have, is amazing. And it's probably better that we don't know. Tommy Lasorda, who's a well-known baseball coach, Los Angeles Dodgers, said there are three kinds of people in the world. There are people who make it happen. There are people who watch it happen. And there are people who wonder what happened. It's a choice, and you certainly would not want to be stuck in that last group. And if you're in the middle group, then it doesn't take much to go from the middle group to the other group. Because the only thing you have to do is do. And this process to get started where you learn you watch, you learn, and you do. Once that gets started, you need to keep doing that because just as you think you've arrived and you understand and you buy one ticket, there's somebody out there who's just a little more clever, just a little smarter than you are. There's a saying in the US that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I don't think our speakers today were old dogs, but it really doesn't matter how old you are doesn't matter whether you're a control freak and you have to let go of it in a car going sideways. 
I can relate to that because I was in one of his cars going sideways, <laughs> and it terrified me to death. I have never been in a car going, has anybody in this room been in a car, other than you, Andrash, and maybe his wife, but has anybody been in a car going sideways at 140 kilometers an hour? You have, and you live to talk about it? I want to talk to your insurance company. And I mean, it's just amazing. And yet, once you realize that, that you get in the hands, you get near people who understand what they're doing, and that fear disappears. We heard about fears. That's what this is all about people showing each other how it's done. Right, Andrea? Having to wrestle for two years to figure it out. And then you figure it out, the magic happens. And then you run your first race on Sunday. And one accomplishment leads to another, to a third, and to a fourth. And if you take the time and the effort to get that engine started, you will work magic. You'll work magic in your lives, but you'll also work magic in the lives of those whose lives you touch. People have their eyes on everything you do, whether it's your 10-year-old son, or it's your colleague, or your mother, or your boss. Everyone is looking to someone else for the right next step to take. I think it is our privilege, but I think it's also our responsibility to do everything we can to set the right example. Because we're setting the world up to either be able to take advantage of the opportunities or we're setting them up to fail. That choice is ours. Can't outsource it, can't blame it on our government, can't blame it on anyone else. Will I set an example with my life for those whom I touch on a regular basis, or will I not? It's that simple. Watch, learn, and do. Today, we got an opportunity to watch, learn, and hopefully, you got a desire to do. For those who were on this stage and now know what it feels like to be on a stage in front of 100 people, there'll be opportunities for you to continue to share your knowledge and your experience and your momentum. Because there's always room in this world for people who are willing to watch, learn, and do. Enjoy the evening. Thank you.